guys, so I'm here with my sister-in-law, Andrika. Hi guys. Her first appearance on the YouTube. Okay, so tell the audience what exactly do you want to learn makeup wise? And I just want to be able to do a quick five, ten minute makeup routine in the morning to get me out the door, but keep me looking fresh and natural. Mm -hmm. And literally five, ten minutes, you know, you have to pick and choose what you want to do. So we, we talked about it and she's a teacher, so obviously she can't go in looking like super glam, but she wants to look awake, you know, fresh, right? Right. So we have a couple products that we have here and this is going to be really simple. It's not going to be like a glam transformation. It's going to be more like you, but a little bit better and polished. So really quick, these are the products that we're going to use. Let's start with the face. So we're going to take a really lightweight foundation. This is Pure Cosmetics, Cosmetics Hydro Fluid Water Serum Foundation in the shade Deep. And then we're going to take Moisturizer. So this is the new L'Oreal Revita Lift Bright Reveal Brightening Moisturizer with SPF 30. Do you wear SPF during the day? Good job. So the reason why I'm taking moisturizer and foundation is because we want this to be like a tinted moisturizer so it's really light and not too heavy for the day. Alright, so we're going to take a little bit of foundation and then we're going to take some of the moisturizer. This is brand new so... And we're just going to mix it together so it's going to be moisturizing and even an even layer consistency. So if this was you in the morning, you could just use your hands, which is I'm going to use my clean hands. And we're just going to apply it and mix it in. Oh yeah, this looks good. The good thing about when you mix it in with a moisturizer is that it's not so heavy and you don't have to have an exact perfect shade match. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to just rub this in, especially on the areas maybe where you need a little bit more coverage, you can put a little more. But areas where you're completely clear, like over here or under here, I'm just putting just enough so that way it kind of matches, but not enough to cover really anything. Don't forget behind the nose, everybody forgets there. And then don't forget to blend down. You don't want any lines. So I could tell your skin feels a little bit dry. So you might need to up the moisturizer a little bit. Do you notice that your skin feels dry? Because mm -hmm. you have an oily T-zone, but I do feel like it's dry like around here and on your forehead. So just rub it in. This actually makes you look even more brighter because we mix the moisturizer in there. So that skip, it skips a step, which is good. So that's all you're going to do. And then I can take my finger with just a little bit of the foundation and then just put it on any spots that are a little bit darker and then this is like your concealer. I'm just gonna pat it in. Just with your finger. And you always use your ring finger because that's the lightest pressure. If you use like your pointer finger, like stab yourself. <laughs> so I was just gonna use the ring finger. Okay, so what did I say that you do whenever you have something wet on your face? Uh-huh. Yeah, remember? Yep. <laughs> remember right, if you if you leave something wet. Oh, you have to cover it with a powder. Mm -hmm. I remember now. Yep, <laughs> because the powder will prevent it from cake, um, from slipping off during the day. And she has a full day of teaching, so she doesn't want to be like, you know. Well, we got four three yeah. Now. All right, so this is Eve Pearl, um, the duo in, I believe this is dark. So this is a really good because it has a lighter and a darker shade. So if you, if you get lighter in the winter, then you can kind of switch back and forth. And then what I like to do to quicken, do something really quick is I take a kabuki brush because it's really it's really quick. So see how it just goes really. Mm -hmm. So this is going to set it and, and it still looks natural. It doesn't look cakey, which is what we want. And this I'm just mixing the colors together. And you see how that's so quick. And even if you, maybe if you don't have time in the morning to do the liquid, just do this. All over. And you can even wet the brush, mm -hmm. and then it'll make the powder more full, fuller coverage too. Right. So I told her that we wanted to do blush, even though she doesn't always wear blush, because it just looks so nice and healthy. So if you have time for blush, I'm just going to take something like this, like a mauvey tone, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to put a little bit on the apples of your cheeks. I put a little bit on the left and then the right because I don't want to have too much on the one side. And that way we can just kind of jump back and forth mm -hmm. because sometimes people will put too much pressure and then it's like, oh. So I touched here and then touched here and then back and forth. So this is going to give you a little bit of a healthy color on your face. And that way it makes you really look awake. And 
bright and friendly. And be like, I don't like you because you just look nice. All right. Be friend. <laughs> <laughs> so for that's pretty much it for the face. Easy breezy. Now for the eyebrows, she already has a good brow. So I was telling her, you just want to do like a tinted brow gel. So this is going to just fill it in just a little bit and like get the hairs tamed. So we're just going to brush it through. And we always brush up and then we smooth it down. And this is just like a brown because we don't want black ever. Black just looks too hard. Just doing this honestly, like it looks fine. So luckily she gets her brows shaped, so that was easy for me. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna take for the eyes one color. This is a Milani um, Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Wear, which is good because it, even though it's a creamy product, you don't have to set it because it's crease proof. It is closed. This is just gonna go on her lid. And then, so that means from the base of the lash up to where her eyeball is, like up the crease of the eyeball socket. And then you take, of course, which finger? Your ring finger. The dot, the ring finger, and you just blend it in. And the heat from your finger is also going to kind of melt it in and make it easier to blend. You gotta work quick with these kind of products though because you don't want them to dry and then you can't blend them. This is it for eyeshadow and she likes neutral so this is perfect because it's kind of like her skin tone but a little bit sparkle. And she wears glasses too so you'll be able to see this through the glasses. Alright, so then we're going to do the eyeliner. So let's just do um, a pencil. I feel like pencil is the easiest kind. Do you use pencil or liquid or what do you use? Sometimes I use liquid, but I'm learning by doing pencil. Okay, because pencil is kind of easier, right? So I'm just going to do a little cat eye on her because this is she wants to define her eyes, and the easiest way is a little cat eye. So the other side, we're just going to do we're going to extend the eye a little bit, create that little triangle little flick, and then it's going to race into the center. I don't even have to line the entire eye, and she's already defined. Oh, that's pretty. So this is actually a dark brown, so it's dark chocolate by Graftopian. So if you want really natural, dark brown is always good too. All right, so then we're going to do mascara. So that's one of the things that always makes a big impact, even if you don't have a lot of makeup, is mascara. I'm using Maybelline The Falsies. This is a really good drugstore mascara. All right, so just look down. So I'm gonna hit the top. And then we're gonna go wiggle from the bottom. Just like that. There you go. And she's got a natural um, up, up curl of her lashes at the end, so it makes it even more flat in. So she's got like this little cat eye. Alright, switch this side. And I'm just gonna skip the bottom because she has glasses on, so you can see all that anyways. And I like to sometimes just use a tip of the brush to get product on there, and then I brush it out. Okay. You all right? <laughs> all right? Now with the lips, that's it. We're gonna actually use this color, which is um, Glaze Lip Paint, LA Girl Cosmetics, and it's color blushing. This is really pretty because it's kind of got a purpley pink tone. So this is gonna be her fun pop of color. So completely professional. And if this was you, you could just use a finger, but I'm just gonna use a lip brush. I like it because it's got color, but it's still sheer. So it's kind of more of a lip tint as opposed to like a bam bam. Mm -hmm. Okay, lift it up. Mm -hmm. oh. And this is deep enough so that way it doesn't make her lips like look ashy or anything. It's still got a nice amount of color, but it's not so bold where it doesn't look professional for the office. Okay. Now I'm just going to just kind of make sure everything is blended. This kabuki brush is such a time saver. I'm going to put a little bit more blush. Just a little bit. You don't have to do this. You don't want to. But I like <laughs> blush. Okay. And then you can put your glasses back on. This mirror is kind of dirty. Make it a good mirror. I like it. So you have a little, a little bit of flick. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even line your entire eye, only lined half of it. What about that lip color? Do you like that lip color? It might grow on me a little bit. It's hard for you to get used to? Yeah. 
I'm gonna run that in over right there. <laughs> Put a little bit of wine. Yeah, it's kind of fun though because it's like a different, it's like a, a pop of color. Can you look in the camera so they can see? Yeah, just a little bit of emphasis. Do you see how the shadow on your lids is like your skin tone mm -hmm. a little bit? That was easy, right? Yeah. Do your, do your brows look a little bit more tame too? A right, they're not as wiry. Yeah, <laughs> wiry. Yeah. What do you feel about the blush? How do you like the blush? I don't know that I... You're not used to this blush, huh? This blush thing? I don't, it's not that I don't like it. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing it's got to get used to because I don't usually yeah, wear it. Yeah, she doesn't wear a blush, but I think what we're going to do is we'll take a picture. Mm -hmm. And then when you take a picture, you can kind of see it all come together. That's how it's, it's hard to see it with your eyes sometimes. Right. So let's see. This is what I always do with my clients is I take a picture. So they can see how pretty it looks. Wait, let me wipe it off because something's on the camera. I always mix it. Good. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay. So do you see on here? It kind of looks like you have just a little color on your cheeks, just a little mm -hmm. bit. And I actually like the lip color better in the picture yeah. than I did when I looked in the mirror. Do you see how you look like? You're cute. I've looked cute before. The makeup just thing. Oh yes, I, I told you to do that. No. I mean, this is really easy. I think you could accomplish this in five or ten yeah. minutes. Yeah, totally easy. Okay. And it doesn't feel like I have on makeup. Good. Great. Yeah, you really had probably like two drops foundation and just a little powder, so. It's really cool. Yay, all right. Bye. <laughs>